So you just want to know where to start with Photoshop. Perhaps you're a Photoshop newbie, or for years you've been trying to work out how to be a pro in Photoshop and better hone your skills. Either way or another, I'm going to show you the primary secrets to taking your first and foundational steps in Photoshop. Take these top tips on board and you will be getting better at Photoshop and even become an imaging master. Roll up your sleeves and let's get into this. Tip number one, learn how to navigate around your image. Forget using the zoom tool, the hand tool, and the scroll bars all together. Instead, insist on using the quick keys or shortcuts. Control plus to zoom in, control minus to zoom out, and hold down the space bar, left click, and drag to move around your image canvas. If you are going to learn any quick keys, these ones are a must. You must learn to use these shortcuts instinctively as a reflex. Any other method will slow you down and ratchet up pressure as you're going to have to rely on your eye, mouse and memory. And this will make Photoshop a chore rather than a pleasure. That is my number one tip if you are looking for where to start in Photoshop. Tip number two, don't be afraid of Photoshop. Learn workspace. One thing I see with my students over and over again is that they're afraid of Photoshop. After all, it can be a big and intimidating application to the newbie Photoshop learner. Don't be afraid of Photoshop. Explore it. Click on the buttons and functions. Explore the drop-down menus. Perhaps you think you might break it. Photoshop can take it. If all goes wrong and your screen no longer looks as it did, don't worry, there is an easy way to reset Photoshop, restoring it back to the way it looked before you started experimenting. Simply go to Windows menu and then Workspace and click on the reset option here. Your Photoshop workspace may have a different name to mine. If you've never played with this feature before, it is likely called Reset Essentials. Tip number three, again, learn quick keys. The navigation quick keys I mentioned in tip number one are essential. However, this doesn't mean that you have to stop there. If you really want to know how to become an expert in Photoshop, then at the very least, some of that journey will involve learning commonly used quick keys. Slowly start to memorize the quick keys to the functions and tools you use the most. Don't overpressurize yourself on this. Make a mental note of the quick key as you are calling for the tool and try to use it for next time. You can find most common quick keys in the menu system next to each function or if you right click on the various tools in the tool palette. Tip number four, use a Wacom tablet. The mouse is just not going to cut it. If you really want my best Photoshop advice, then don't skip this top tip. Treat yourself to a Wacom or similar branded tablet. You can pick these up for around £40 or $55. They are so intuitive to use in Photoshop and will give you so much control. Most tablets also come with pressure control, allowing you the ability to be as subtle or as heavy with your clone stamp, brush or heel tool as you wish. Tip number five, learn to be an artist. Don't let this tip cause you to head for the hills. I'm convinced that anyone can be an artist with the right practice. Although being an artist or creative is not essential in becoming a Photoshop genius, it certainly will give you a lead. Learn to draw and paint in the real world. Build up your confidence outside of Photoshop and you'll be able to cope with any task in Photoshop. Photoshop is far more forgiving than the real world. You have Control Z and a history palette to undo your mistakes. Go on an art class. Start simple if you need to. Start sketching things around the house with a pencil and a sheet of paper. Learn how to relate onto paper what you see in the real world. This is a solid route on how to master Photoshop. So, if you really want to know how to learn Photoshop, learn how to navigate around your image. Don't be afraid of Photoshop. Learn workspace. Learn quick keys. Use a Wacom tablet. Become an artist. And you will find in no time at all that you will become a Photoshop Grandmaster.
Thank you for watching my five tips on how to get better in Photoshop. Don't forget, please tickle the like button, scramble the subscribe, and ting the bell to receive notifications of my new videos as I publish them. And I most certainly will see you on the next one.